Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about bobbins. Very common question we get here uh, when we're doing these, when the people buy the videos and they see a, a specific style of bobbin, people are always asking us, what, you know, what bobbin do I use? And, uh, and then there's a lot of basic questions about it. So I'm going to go over just kind of the basics of bobbins and tell you why I use one bobbin over the other and why I think that, you know, it's a better system. But basically they're all the same uh, for the most part, they're all spring. They're just two pieces of spring steel, hooks into there, it's got a tube of some sort. And basically what it does is it gets you away from the hook so that you can have a more even pressure by using the tube and the thread is held at a specific style of, uh, a specific weight, I guess you'd call it, tension, so that you don't break your thread and you get nice even tension on your, on your hook when you're wrapping. So essentially it started out with just the steel tube style like this. And then we kind of went into the ceramic tubes. And this one dominated for a long time. As you can see, I have about 15 of them on there. But with the new threads, what I'm seeing is that these, especially with the GSPs, to me it seems like these things are scoring faster than any of the other ones. I saw a blog on uh, the other day on a, a musky blog somewhere, and somebody was asking about, you know, I'm having problems with this, and and a lot of people said, well, the ceramics won't score. And this is just me talking, but I personally find that they, these ceramics score faster than the other ones. So I pretty much only use these on really light thread. My personal favorite for, and I'm talking small flies right now. My personal favorite is the newer style <clears throat> is the, this is a Renzetti. And like I said, they're all pretty much the same. If you look at all three of these are, you know, kind of, this is a 19, 80, early 80s, 70s version, and then out came the ceramics, and then there's the Renzetti style, which is a ruby tip. It's got a brass tube with a ruby tip in the end of it, and I have not scored one of these yet, all right, and I, and I use these a lot. With, I pretty much only tie with GSP anymore, and we did a, we did a thing on that a couple weeks ago, but they're, it's basically the same premise. It's got the two little knobs that stick in the hole of the, the, the spool to hold your thread. And you can, by the way, you can open these up a little bit or you can tighten them down a little bit to have a little bit more pressure. But, you know, ideally you're the one creating the pressure by putting your finger on here and holding that right there. So don't try to get too much. It's both, that's pretty much your job to hold that right there. But the bottom line is, is that on these, I like these to be, there's, there's, essentially four lengths there's not really a lot of difference in these they'll have a different tube size they'll have a different tube length some people like you know uh, th there are many pre there's many preferences to bobbins as there are flies it's just you know what you get used to what you like but there'll be different lengths of tubes there'll be different diameters of tubes but for the most part that's the only difference and so this is a this just a, a standard uh, midge tube, I think is what it's called, ruby tip, and this is my personal favorite one. And again, they come in about four or five sizes. I like these with the light thread, and again, if you're using nylon, it's not a big deal. If you get into the GSPs and the heavier thread, the thinner yet stronger threads, the only disadvantage to this style is if you're using, say, even 50 GSP, which is one of the, the finest, you can pull these and you can actually pull so hard that you separate these and they pop out. And so your thread goes, you know, rolling off on the floor. And so I, I tend to use these only on my smaller flies. So, but it's usually the ruby tip. I mean, that's the one that I've pretty much gravitated to in the last four or five years. And then I put, this is already on here. Uh, this is GSP thread 100. And what I've got here are the right mag bobbins. This one's customized. It's got very cool eyes on it. That's so Johnny doesn't touch it. No one can touch that bobbin. And I use these bobbins. This is a right bobbin right here. And if you've seen any of my videos, uh, any, of the, any of my streamer uh, videos, you know that I'm using a right bobbin in every one of them. And again, kind of, there's some constants. This one's got uh, standard shorty half hitch mag and ceramic. That's the five. They're still all the same. You can go right down to the little shorty like this. It's the same rear end, but it's just different length tubes and different diameter that you're, you're holding in your hand. As you can see, a much different, much beefier tube here. 
This is designed to use really heavy thread. So what this one's for is when you're tying with bigger streamers. And now on this one, I personally use just the standard hardened steel. I have not had one of these things score my thread yet. I've probably been tying with these for, I don't know, eight, 10 years at least. The only thing that I can see with these things that's different, that really is an advantage for you, is the fact that this doesn't come apart. You can't spring it. Like I was saying with these, if you pull on this thread too hard, you can actually twist these and pop that out. Physically impossible with these. You can't, it, obviously, it's got a screw tension here. And that's the other positive to these, is that you set that tension. It's set just like a drag on a spinning reel. So you've got tension on that constantly. And then you, the only difference now you've got is the distance on the tube length. And personally, uh, on the bigger flies, I like to step it up just a little bit. You can see the difference is about a half inch on the tube length, three quarters on some of them. I personally like that when I'm using a big fly, big hair flies, like, you know, something where I've got a lot of materials flopping around in there. I like to be able to get away from it a little bit. But the big thing with these is, is I got, it's nice and it fits in my hand well, and I can pull on these things, I mean, infinitely. You can pull this hook right out of here. The only thing you can do is bend this tube, but other than that, you're not going to hurt the rear end, you're not going to pop your spools out. So for the most part, all you'll ever see me using is this right bobbin. Anything in like a size 8 or bigger, that's pretty much where I'm going to be on the rights. And I'm using that for, uh, predominantly because I can't spring it. On these, I can spring these, on these lighter wire ones, I can spring those. And you can step that up, but you can still have the chance of springing them on this one no possible way. There's another option on those called the half hitch option and what that is is the end of it is tapered down so you can do a half hitch with your thread and put it over the hook and slide it over. I don't do that personally so it's not a big option for me but it's out there. So bottom line is uh, usually we're going to use for me personally I'm going to use the ruby tip midge size you know like this for anything on my dry fly nymphs and stuff like that. As soon as I step into the real bugs the big stuff I'm going to go to a right mag bobbin. I'm going to be, and mostly because I can not spring this. It, it's got an equal tension. And in, as you've heard me talk about before, you know, tension is, you know, thread control is everything in fly tying. So you should be able to sit here and do this for an hour and use that whole spool up and never change the distance right there. And I still get control over it with my hand, but I've got a nice even tension right here on the thread, and I don't have to sit and mess with it. This is, a, in my opinion, this is the best bobbin in the, in the business when it comes to tying streamers. Hope that helps you out. Thanks.